exercise, twice a day training, something that I did for a long period of time and something I just want to share my thoughts on. Um, a lot of people over the last couple of years, few years have said to me, you know, should I do twice a day training? Well, rather than saying yes as a categoric answer, I want to give you some, um, some pros and cons of whether or not I think it's the most advantageous methodology for people to do. And then you can make your own decision on whether or not it's right for you. So when I first looked at, at twice a day training, your initial thoughts are, well, I'm doing two workouts. I have a greater opportunity really to build more muscle tissue. Well, you do if you think of it just as training. But if you think in the grand scheme of things, if you think everything from hormonally, which I do because I always look outside the box, when I did twice a day training, I was exhausted all the time. Now, it didn't take me long before I got to the exhausted state. My body, naturally, is very adrenally sensitive. So I have to make sure I, I optimize my sleep, optimize my supplementation, make sure I don't get run down too quickly, and make sure that I'm always on top of my health. Now, one of the things that pulls me down from a stress perspective is just going flat out all the time and not having any kind of back off. So I make sure that on my rest days, I optimize my sleep, my rest days, my work days are not too crazy in length, and I train very, very well. So the number one thing for me in terms of increasing muscle tissue is that time every day that I can work as hard as I possibly can in the gym. So I put this question to you. If you train once in the morning and give it everything you've got, but you're tired come five o'clock for your second workout, is that an optimal workout? Are you able to give it 110%? Well, over time, I was saying to myself, look, if I can train twice a day, I can actually have twice the amount of calories every single day because I'm requiring that amount of food. So therefore, that's going to turn into more muscle tissue. Well, there's only a certain amount of muscle tissue I'm going to be able to gain year on year. And by pushing that as hard as I possibly can on one year, is it going to be a heck of a lot more or is it going to have a more of a negative effect on my ability to recover? Now, look at most people that can get away with training twice a day, professional bodybuilders. They don't have the stresses and strains of running a business or, or being employed and having to be at work at a particular time. So if, for example, you get up at six and you go to the gym at half seven, you're done by half eight, you get to work at nine, you finish at five, you're in the gym at six, you leave at half seven, eight o'clock, and then bang, you get home, you're knackered, you eat your food, you go to bed. You do that cyclically for five days a week. After two weeks, you're absolutely burnt out. If you're burnt out, your stress hormones are going to be hugely impacted. As a result, potentially testosterone levels are going to be depleted. When you are very stressed, the body will respond by increasing levels of inflammation in the body. And as such, you're going to negatively impact your ability to, you're negatively going to impact your ability to recover. The other thing that you're going to impact when you're tired is your ability to be stronger in the gym. So are you going to be as productive in the gym? So whilst twice a day training has a huge place for people that have the time and those that can recover, my question to you is, is it optimal for everybody? Because I'll be honest with you, how I actually like to train and optimize my nutrition is focusing on one very intense, very hard training session every single day. When I was trying twice a day training, the one in the afternoon, especially running a business, was always for the sake of having to get the second session in so that I could eat more and I didn't actually train as hard as I possibly could. So is twice a day training, does it have its place? 100% yes, but I think it really needs to be very, very selective to the person. Now. What I sometimes did was look at uh, training, for example, chest in the morning and delts for 35 minutes in the evening. Day two, I might do quads in the morning followed by hamstrings in the evening. 
um, and do less kind of uh, heavier loading in the evening sessions. And then when it came around to Thursday or Friday, did heavy delts in the morning, followed by some light chest work in the evening. So you should always have a contrast of whether or not you're doing heavy or light or very intense heavy lifting and then more volume based training in the evening. If you have the time and you have the recovery capabilities to do that. And the other thing that you need to also consider guys is, can you eat enough food to sustain training twice a day, five days a week? Because uh, trust me when I tell you this, you need more food every single time you do a training session, unless you're using twice a day training in a, in a depletion or cutting phase to, to get leaner, okay? So would I bring twice a day training in for someone doing a prep? Well, advantageous to fat loss, yes. Have I done twice a day training for fat loss versus single day training? 100% yes. Which one has worked the best? To me, not being adrenally shattered, training once a day, manipulating calories. I had to bring calories down a little bit more on single day training, but I was able, still able to hold a lot of more muscle tissue because I wasn't so adrenally fatigued. So I'm gonna kind of keep putting these back to you and challenge you because if you are sensitive to your adrenals, if you have a busy day job, if you can't really recover optimally, then twice a day training may not be for you. If you can train twice a day and you have the time to recover and you can get your supplements and nutrients in place and you can sleep optimally, then it could be a hugely favorable position for you to grow and get leaner. But I wanted to give you both ends of the coin so you can kind of make your own mind up. But when people say, is it good? Always think about whether or not it's good for you.